What is very special thing about it? Special thing about this is that macrophage has decided that this antigen could be labeled in a very specific way. This labeled antigen along with this red molecule now should be presented to immune headquarters. Antigen has been processed. The technical term we use is that macrophage has done the processing of antigen. Is that right? Antigen has been processed. Now next step is this process antigen is this processed antigen should be presented to the immune headquarter. You see macrophage is different than neutrophil. It did not just throw the antigen out. It handled the antigen, <coughs> labeled the antigen and now if I'm the macrophage, okay, this is the antigen and this is yes. This is the star antigen and this is the red molecule and I'm macrophage. Now I'm expressing these two things on my surface. What I will do? I will not throw, throw this into lymph. Macrophage will personally start moving through the lymphatics. Where it is going? It is going in search of the lymphocytes and personally present the, this report. Right? Now, let's suppose that these are lymphocytes sitting over there. Of course, when macrophage will move through the lymphatics, it will also go to the lymph node. Lymph node has millions of the lymphocytes. Now, macrophage has personally come with the antigen, rather with the processed antigen, to the lymph node. And now, macrophage has to present the antigen to an appropriate lymphocyte. It has to present antigen to an appropriate lymphocyte. Let's suppose that it is going to present this antigen to T lymphocyte. What are T lymphocytes? What are T lymphocytes? Which are T shaped? T lymphocytes are the lymphocytes which has been educated and trained in thymus. Lymphocytes which are educated and trained into thymus. T for thymus. So lymphocytes which are thymically trained, they are called T lymphocytes or simply call them T cells. And the other lymphocytes which are normally trained in the birds in bursa fibrations or in human beings, though other lymphocytes are trained and matured in bone marrow, they are called B lymphocytes. So there are T lymphocytes and there are B lymphocytes. T lymphocytes are processed in and mature their maturation places thymus and B lymphocytes in human beings are maturing in bone marrow. Bone marrow. Is that right? Now macrophage has to present this antigen to the T lymphocyte because some of the T lymphocytes are T helpers because they will help some B cells to make antibodies. Let's see what exactly happened. This has come to the lymph node and in the lymph node now let's suppose this is that macrophage this is that macrophage here is the yes antigen here is this is antibody this was the red molecule okay should i tell you the exact name of the red molecule these these red molecules are called m h c class 2 molecules have you heard of these molecules you will hear if you study histology from any good any good book yes mhc class 2 molecules is that right now why we call it mhc class 2 molecules mhc stand for major histo compatible m mean major h for histo c for compatibility let me tell you from where this name came let's suppose you put this person's kidney in my body. Do you think my, my kidney tissue is self for me? My immune system does not attack my kidney tissue. But if you put some other unrelated person kidney in my body, my immune system will attack. It means his kidney tissue is not compatible with my tissue, with my, with my own immune system. Again listen, my tissues should be compatible with my immune system my immune system should not attack my own tissue. But if you put a cast kidney into my body or Gavin kidney into my body, I'm very sure that my immune system will attack the transplanted kidney. 
Why? Because their tissues are not compatible. Is that right? Doctors were always puzzled that why in some very close relatives tissues are more compatible and from distant genetically unrelated people tissues are less compatible. Later on they came to know that as your thumbprint is very unique in the universe, the molecular thumbprints on every cell you have. On Dr. Najib's every cell, there are special molecular thumbprints which are recognized by my immune system as self and by other people's immune system as non-self. And Mr. Vakas, Mr. Vakas, kidney, rather all tissues, every cell has some molecular thumbprints, fingerprints, molecular fingerprints, which and those cells with those unique Vakas molecular th thumbprints are recognized by his immune system as self, but my immune system as non-self. When doctors were looking, what are these molecular signatures and thumbprints and fingerprints? They, they, they discovered these molecules, right? That these molecules are responsible, they are special molecules which are responsible to make the tissue unique for every person. For example, Vakas has, <laughs> if we bring some of the Vakas skin cell out, on his skin cell there are unique types of red molecules and my skin cell there are different types of red molecules, right? And those molecules determine the tissue compatibility. My red molecules are recognized by my immune system as self. His red molecules are recognized by his immune system as self. Is that right? And this is how immune system look for molecular fingerprinting on the whole tissue. Is that right? Now, these molecules were called the molecules which mainly determine histocompatibility in between the people tissue, person's tissue. So these molecules were simply called major histocompatibility molecules. Later on they discovered two classes of them. So we simply call them MHC1 molecules and MHC2 molecules. Right? Later on we discovered more functions of these molecules. One function of this molecule was to determine the histocompatibility that tissues in one person are compatible with the other person or not. Let us suppose if they are two identical twins, their class 2 and class 1 molecules will be absolutely identical. But my class 1 and class 2 molecules should be very different from class 1 and class 2 molecules of Vakas. Is that right? So our tissue then are not considered compatible. We have histo incompatibility. Is that right? So these molecules were called MHC molecules M or major histocompatibility determining molecules. Later on we discovered these molecules have some other functions. One of the